Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one's going to be doing our weekly Walking Dead review for this week's episode of The Walking Dead Season 10. This one's going to be for The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 6, Bonds. Okay, guys, so that was an awesome episode of The Walking Dead. Wow. So, um, okay, so let's do our review for this week's episode of The Walking Dead. Really, really enjoyed this week's episode. So, uh, Bonds, The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 6. So, first off, I want to say, if you have not seen the recent episode of The Walking Dead, definitely go ahead and watch it before you watch this review. We're going to go in-depth. We're going to talk about it. So, I hope you guys are interested and stick around for the review. Now, before I get into the review, like I said, spoiler warning, in my opinion, this was a very good episode of the Walking Dead. So with that rating, I would definitely say this is pro probably one of the best episodes of the season. Now, I don't actually think it's still the best episode of the season. I still actually think that episode 3 is probably still the best episode of this season. Uh, just with the border meeting and stuff like that, really good. But this episode really killed it. There were a lot of things in this episode I really liked. Two comic moments uh, brought to life on the screen. Two awesome character moments, specifically with Negan. I mean, you know, really. Uh, and then uh, just a lot of awesome character moments, you know, and a lot of awesome action scenes as well in this episode. Now, we didn't actually get that much action in this episode. This was a pretty relaxed episode, uh, more relaxed than what I thought it was going to be, if I'm, if, if I'm being honest, but I liked it. I thought they really did a good job with this episode, and I think the writing was very, uh, very on point with this episode. You know, I think they really did a good job. Now, um, the reason why I do think that this is, though, still a very good episode compared to a lot of others, and the reason why I say that this episode is still probably better than a lot of the other episodes of this season, um, I'd probably rank this one as actually probably my second favorite of the season. I think this is a very good episode, but um, the reason why is because I think that really, you know, they kind of, they did a good job of focusing an equal amount of time on each character, you know? And, like, this episode with Eugene on the radio, we got way more of that than what I thought we were going to get. Rosita, Sadiq, we got way more from them than what I thought we were going to get, you know? So... The, we really had, you know, four different groups in this episode, so definitely the plot didn't advance that much because we had so many separate storylines, which is the one problem I do have with this episode. However, I would rather this than a bottle episode, you know, that's the thing. But just to get into it, so um, I want to talk about the stuff with Negan first. So, of course, Negan is tied up by the Whispers, of course, and he wants to join, uh, and, you know, Beta wants to kill him, and he basically lets Beta know that he was one of, uh, you know, the, the prisoners of Alexandria. Uh, one of, well, the prisoner of Alexandria, and he has information, so Beta kind of lets him live, and I love how he calls him Jelly Green Giant, too, that was really cool, um, so yeah, that's really cool, but of course, he's prisoner there, Beta kind of doesn't really agree with what Alpha's saying, but instead of, you know, there's even this kind of moment where you think Beta's maybe going to voice his opinion and turn on Alpha and stuff like this, but no, he just kneels, he just, he, he gets on his knees and he kneels, and Negan looks at that and he's just like, that's what I used to do, you know, um, so Negan, even though he's there, most likely because he wants to try to kill Alpha, um, you know, he's, he also kind of respects Alpha because of that, you know, because he used to do that as well. So, um, Alpha's kind of at the place that Negan was a few seasons ago. So I, I like that, you know, it's really cool. Except Alpha, I don't think is a character that could ever be redeemed, you know. But again, people said that about Negan. But anyway, so, um... I like that. I like that a lot. So, Beta and Negan go off, of course, and uh, he talks about how, uh, how attracted he is to Alpha, uh, and he also kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, talks about kind of Beta and Alpha, and are they together? Because Negan wants to, you know, maybe Negan wants to be with Alpha or something, you know, something weird like this. Uh, and, uh, anyway, so, found that part funny. And then, and then there's like this, this music montage, which I thought was, uh, very well done, uh, where Negan is digging. Of course, you got the, uh, the pig and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't really kill, uh, you know, uh, you know, and then eat. He kills, and then th they don't let Negan, you know, have any of the food, except for this one whisper that Beta kills later. So, uh, I like that, of course, and, uh, you know, I have, you have Alpha just standing there, but, uh, I really liked it. I thought it was really, really cool. I like how uh, Negan's digging and the dirt goes on the screen. I thought that was a cool touch, but, uh, you know, anyway, so, um, we also have Negan, um, 
trying to kind of win over the, the, the whispers and try to kind of tell them that he's on their side. So what he basically does is, uh, you know, Beta leaves him and he, you know, has to fight his way through all these, these walkers. And I really like the scene because I found myself, I don't know, I, I, I like it because, you know, on one hand, I think it's cool that Negan's trying to, you know, show his loyalty to Alpha. But on the other hand, I didn't like the scene because I don't like how we just saw that Negan, like, we didn't see how Negan got out of there. Beta just leaves Negan all these walkers, and then we see later him later on covered in blood. I wish we saw how he got out of there. That's the only thing that I, that really bothers me is that... I wish we saw him get out of there and how he made it out. So that's that's one problem I do have with the whole Negan stuff is that specifically. But of course we have the ending, which I you know you have to talk about. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I thought Alpha was gonna kiss Negan at the very end. And the first time I watched it, that was the first thought that was going in my head. And I'm, I'm you know I know it's crazy, but you know she got up real close. I mean, am I really the only person that thought Alpha was gonna kiss Negan at that part? I thought she was going to, but. You know, and we'll have to see if that actually does happen. You know, we'll have to see. Maybe, maybe they will go that route. But um, of course, Negan, uh, you know, uh, you know, puts the uh, the log down or whatever, and uh, or the the stick down or whatever, and he um, kneels in front of her, right, and he says, you know, like, you know, I'm, uh, you know, whatever I have or whatever, it's yours. And um, I, I I like how kind of Negan pretty much tells her that. You know, I'm on your side, and I will do anything to join. And Alpha kind of just, uh, just kind of, you know, and that's that's pretty much it. So, um, I'm very excited to see what they do next episode. I'm, I, I don't know if we'll see Negan in the. See, I haven't seen the promo for episode seven at the time of filming this video, so I can't, you know, say anything about that. But, um, I am excited to see, uh, you know, if we actually continue to see Negan and the Whispers in the next episode, or if that'll be the mid-season finale. We'll have to see. But. I like that a lot. Um, now, moving on to, uh, let's go Carol and Daryl next. So, uh, we have Carol that, uh, basically, she, uh, you know, uh, we see her. She takes uh, the gun and stuff like that. She leaves. And uh, Daryl basically, uh, you know, goes with her. So, um as he's out having a smoke with, uh, you know, dog. So, uh, I like that, of course, and, uh, you know, uh, he leaves with her, and first she says we're out looking for Negan, then, of course, she tells him that we're looking for the herd. So, uh, they're, like, playing little games or whatever, they're, like, throwing stuff and all this. So, there's a few, you know, moments there before they kind of go in, so to speak, and, uh, even a moment where they mentioned Connie in this episode, which I thought was also really cool, um, and just, just little moments between, uh, between the characters that I, you know, kind of enjoyed, uh, you know, quite a bit. So, um, um, we'll have to see if Daryl ends up with Connie. That's still a question at this point. We actually didn't even see anybody from Magnus Group in this episode. Um, so I'm expecting to see them probably in the next episode or the mid-season finale. I don't know. But I like that. I thought that was really cool. So then, of course, they cross the new border and they go into, um, you know, the Alpha's territory. And I really like how Daryl kind of, you know, he... He's watching over Carol. They're both kind of telling each other what to do. And, uh, you know, Daryl has no choice because there's whispers, which there's a whisper I did notice at least. I, I, I noticed at least two. Um... Of course, Carol captures a whisper, which I thought was crazy, and then Daryl, of course, has to kind of hide from the walker, so he puts walker blood all over him, and I'm just like, his mouth was open, like, I'm sorry, I, I just, I had to mention that, like, Daryl, like, his mouth was open, he's like, you know, like, I'm just like, bruh, you're not telling me none of that, like, went in and went into his mouth or something, like... Little things like this, you know, I'm just like, oh my god, really? But anyway, let's let's move on. Just figured I'd kind of mention that. So, um, we also have uh, at the very end with them uh, that, ba you know, basically, Carol, you know, she's hiding secrets from Daryl. And, you know, obviously Daryl's kind of starting to find that out. And, uh, you know, now she has captured a whisper and we'll have to see in the next episode, uh, what happens with that whisper, and, you know, if they get any information, that's for sure, so, uh, I like all that stuff, that was also very good, then we also have Rosita, um, who is, of course, uh, sick, she has, like, that, uh, that, that, you know, stomach, you know, uh, stomach virus or whatever, uh, we'll have to see if it's from the contaminated water, that's my only wonder, because if so, um, we could be seeing the death of Rosita, which I do not want to see at all. Uh, you know, I, I, I mean, for obvious reasons. But no, I, I, I don't want to see Rosita be killed. She's, she's one of the best character, one of the best female characters, uh, you know, in the show for sure. But I'm um, not really going to mention anything that happens at Alexandria. I mean, uh, you know, you have Sadiq with the PTSD and stuff like that. You know, and th I did like though how one moment he's in the chair and then one moment he's at the uh, the the windmill thing or whatever. So we'll have to see what's going on there. Um, 
Not really sure. He's kind of uh, losing it at this point, Sadiq. Uh, we also have Dante hitting on old, uh, like on, on this like old woman or whatever. And I'm just like, oh my god, like Dante is so freaking irritating sometimes, man. Uh, you know, uh, and I just, I don't know, I just don't like him, you know. But um, I didn't like him in the premiere, and I honestly didn't like him in this episode either. You know, I just, I don't know. Um, he was okay in episode three, but now he's just back to being the annoying guy. You know, I don't know, the annoying doctor. So, um, you know, even mentions how he'll, he'll take a peek at Rosita, you know, and this, that's like, okay, man, like, honestly, Sadiq, yeah, I'd walk away too, you know, honestly, I, he's really annoying. So, uh, bad enough that Sadiq's a doctor, he has to work with him. So, um, yeah, I like that though. That was decent, but Dante just, uh, yeah, he pisses me off, man. Honestly, I'm sorry, but he does. Um, so he was very annoying to watch. But uh, aside from that, not too much. You know, Rosita's sick. She contacts Eugene, stuff like that. Uh, you know, and they, uh, you know, he takes Rosita back to the infirmary and this and that. So, okay. Uh, we also have, which is the final part, uh, Eugene on the radio with, uh, well, I won't say her name because uh, we're going to find that out pretty soon probably. Uh, for people that read the comics, you know who this is. You know, I, I really like how they did this because, um, you know, they, they really are trying to set up the Commonwealth already. Uh, even if the Whisper War hasn't even started, they're already kind of doing this so um i like it i thought it was really really cool i think they did a good job with it um you know it's kind of funny that uh, you know rosita she doesn't really have time for eugene so this other lady uh, sounds like she does so uh we'll have to see maybe a love interest kind of soon to say but uh maybe eugene could actually finally get a love interest i don't know maybe that's what this is uh we'll have to see you know we'll have to see what if that if that's what this is or if it's something else but you know definitely uh people that read the comics you know what this is but it's pretty cool how, uh, you know, they're bonding already, but she doesn't want anybody else uh, on the radio. If she hears from anybody else, she'll know that she can't trust Eugene. So I like that. Faithful to the comics. Absolutely love it. So, um, yeah, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I like it. I think it's a, it, it's a, it's a very good, uh, you know, kind of uh, first meeting to the Commonwealth to, to, you know, to see this, uh, this character, the Commonwealth. I'm not going to go into it, but it is a brand new location for The Walking Dead. Um, it is a storyline from the Walking Dead comic book series that we are going to start seeing. I won't mention who this character is uh, or what the Commonwealth is, but it's 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 going to be very very cool to see it in the TV series version for sure. Uh, and I think they're uh, they're they're slowly introducing it already, and I think it's it's a decent time for them to do it. I just hope the Commonwealth is better in the TV series version. That's that's really all I'm saying at this point. So uh, yeah, that in my uh, in my opinion is a very good episode. I think this was a very good episode of The Walking Dead. Um, I think they did pretty much everything right with it, aside from not showing how Negan got away from the walkers. That is one thing that really annoys me. And Daryl's mouth was open as he puts the guts all over his face, like... Anyway, but, you know, but, I don't know, I just, I have to mention it, because it's just, I don't know, I, I, I clued into it right away. I'm like, man, realistically, Daryl would probably, like, get some of that walker blood in his mouth. Like, close your mouth, man, like, honestly... But that's just me. And Dante really annoyed me in this episode. But, um, you know, so a few nitpicks. But aside from that, I really, really like the episode. Second best of this season for me. Uh, episode 3 is probably still my favorite. I just love episode 3. I thought the feel and just the, the way episode 3 went was just, oh, it was freaking brilliant, man. Uh, but, yeah, this is probably my second favorite episode of the season. I thought they really did a good job. Awesome stuff, awesome character development for the characters, and I'm excited. You know, we only got two episodes left this year, two more reviews, uh, but uh, of course we will be doing tons of Walking Dead videos during the break, uh, so uh, maybe not daily Q&As. We might have to kind of slow down on those, you know, but uh, once it's on the break. But um, still, Walking Dead videos will be coming during the break, and, uh, you know, I think this episode really, uh, really was, you know, awesome for sure. So... Anyway, guys, I will end the review right there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new here, click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my Walking Dead videos. Write your comments, your opinions, uh, and Q&A questions for this week for The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 7. Leading up to it, open your eyes, it's called. Um, and uh, write your comments below about the episode. You know, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it sounds like based off of kind of the feedback I've heard so far, you guys did. But we'll have to see... Um, if, if, if you know if uh, everybody agrees, write uh, your you know your your you know your thoughts on the episode you know po uh, on the positive side or the negative side if you have any nitpicks as well. Uh, and uh, are you excited to see the Commonwealth? Are you excited to see what happens with Negan and the Whispers? Uh, you know, are you excited to see kind of uh, what we see from uh, you know this uh, this this illness type thing? It's kind of season fourish. More people are getting sick and this and that. And what's going on with Sadiq uh, as well as uh, Dante? So great episode, guys. I'm gonna end the review here. And of course, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video. Peace out, guys.